Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to install a vehicle detector board to a HME ION IQ 6100 base station. Now this is how a vehicle detector board looks like and that's how they come. They come with a cable. Sometimes they are uh, shipped without the cable if you order without the cable but normally they do come mm, with the cable and here's how we install it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to press the top two buttons to open the base station. So you press that down and it opens like that. Watch it again. Press down and it opens. Once you have it opened, uh, this is how the inside looks like. And this is where the vehicle detector board goes. Uh, a base station can handle up to two vehicle detector boards. One over here and one over here. And each vehicle detector board is installed like this. This one goes here. And if I were to put a second one, it would go right here. Once you place the vehicle detector board to its appropriate location, you have to press it down so it can hold on to it. Watch. Like that. Once you press it down, these are self-locking plastic studs and it will hold on to there and it's not going anywhere. It will basically be there. So this plug uh, remains uh, like uh, questionable where to plug it in. And the answer to that is right here. That's where that plug goes into. Watch. So you take this and this only goes in one way because there are a couple of notches here uh, that goes to that right there press it down and you have installed a vehicle detector board successfully to a, uh, a, a, a HME ION IQ base uh, 6100 and once you have installed this now the the vehicle detector boards are two different types one has relay one is without relay uh, the, the relay could be used to activate something like activate an alarm, activate a light uh, or something to uh, make you uh, aware of vehicles presence in your drive through lane. And uh, so this one does not have the relay connectors here. But uh, so all you have to do is plug in the loop detector right here because you don't have to worry about the other connections. Uh, so basically the loop goes from here. Uh, and this goes there and you are good to go okay uh, thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe